Hello everyone. So let's start with this new course, Introduction to Macroeconomics. Now before getting into the depth of macroeconomics, let's study the definition of economics. What is economics? Economics is the study of the use of the scarce resources which have alternative uses. Scarcity is an important part of the definition of economics. In order to understand this, let's take an example. Suppose there is a person named Sham and he wants to know, what should I do this weekend? I can either sleep, watch TV or study. Now at a particular point of time, he can choose only one task. That means if he is watching TV, he cannot sleep or study. If he is sleeping, he cannot watch TV or study. If he is studying, he cannot sleep or watch TV. Now this is what we mean by scarcity. Scarcity actually leads to trade-offs and trade-offs leads to choice. That means Sham is given all these three options but he can choose only one. So this is scarcity and which scarcity will lead to choice. And every time we are making a choice, this involves a cause. So what is this cause? Let's understand this. Now suppose watching TV is Sham's most preferred choice. Sleep is his second best choice and study is his least preferred choice. Now if he choose to watch TV, he incurs an opportunity cost. Opportunity cost is the value of the next best alternative. So what is this opportunity cost? If he is watching TV, he lose the opportunity cost of sleep. That means at a particular point of time, he face only one and only one opportunity cost. He cannot face the opportunity cost of sleep and study together. In other words, if he choose to watch sleep, then the opportunity cost he is facing is study and not watch TV together. So, scarcity leads to trade-offs, trade-offs leads to choice and choice leads to opportunity cost. So, the role of economics is to make choices given these scarce resources. So, economics revolves around all these concepts. Now, let's move further and study the two branches of economics. What are the two branches? The first one is microeconomics and the second one is macroeconomics. And what is microeconomics? Microeconomics studies the behavior of individual agents in markets, whereas macroeconomics studies the entire economy. Now, let's brief on what is microeconomics. In microeconomics, we may have one consumer, many consumers, a firm, or an industry. So, what do the consumers do? The demand. And what do the firms and industry do? They supply. So the demand and the supply intersect each other to determine the price and quantity in the market. In order to understand this and the concept of microeconomics, let's take an example. Suppose there is a laptop in the economy and that costs around 30,000 rupees. Now, to purchase this laptop, so many consumers come. Let's say around 100 consumers want to purchase this laptop at 30,000 rupees. Now what happens in the economy if the price of laptop increased to 40,000 rupees? Now all these consumers won't be willing to purchase this laptop at this high price. So all many consumers will go away and few consumers will be there to purchase this laptop. So this is what microeconomics deals with. Now let's come up to macroeconomics where microeconomics deals with the behavior of the individual parts of the economy. Macroeconomy deals with the whole economy. That is, we are interested in economy as a whole. As we had uh, demand and supply intersecting each other in microeconomics, we have the aggregate demand and supply intersecting each other to determine the price and quantity in the entire economy. Now what does macroeconomics deal with? Macroeconomics deal with questions like what happens in the economy if money supply increase? How to reduce inflation in the economy? How to fight recession etc. So macroeconomics in this course will study all these questions and many more questions. 
So in the next video, we'll start off with the emergence of macroeconomics. Thank you.